Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to graph using a slope intercept form. Uh, this particular one has a negative slope. Recall that slope is always the number in front of X. So this is our slope and that tells you how steep the line is. Um, slope is always our rise over our run. So in this case, um, we can either rise negative two, which means to go down two and run three, or we could also do um, rise positive two and run negative three. And this right here is the Y intercept and you have to keep the sign. So in this case, because it's negative, our Y intercept would be negative one. So as far as the process goes of graphing this, you always start at the Y intercept. So we would go to our Y axis, always go to the Y axis, not the X axis. And we would go to where Y equals negative one and that's gonna be our starting point. From there, what we're going to do is use slope to find the next point. And if you want, um, I tend to do three points just because of the um, fact that it makes a straighter line. You only need new two points, but um, you can do this process as many times as you need to to guarantee that you have a straight line. So with this, because our slope is negative two over three, um, you can either go down two and right three, or you can go up two and back three. So either one of them is acceptable. Um, this is where I see a lot of mistakes is the slope. If you remember the slope for a negative line always has to go down from left to right. So that means we have to do one positive direction. So I could do positive two and then go back three or I could do negative two first and then positive three because I have to do one positive direction and one negative direction in order to get negative slope. So with this, you would then just connect your points and that is your line. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please just let me know. Um, if there are other topics that you need me to address, let me know that as well.